Yeah, I remember to set my clocks back. Kind of told me to do it when the weather went cold, which is why I'm wearing this. But I like how you're stepping out of your comfort zone to talk about basketball, and I certainly want to do uh, talks about basketball myself in the future. I have one topic that I want to talk about, but I need to do a little more research on it, on uh, Lonzo Ball. But that needs more time, and I don't want to talk about baseball. You know I could talk for years on baseball. So I'll talk about football. And for once, I won't talk about politics. This is still going to be painful to uh, hear, especially if you're a New York Giants fan. Let me tell you, I don't know what... Well, I know what ha is happening, but I don't know that a team that was pegged to probably uh, contend this year, myself included, is now on to a 1-7 uh, and seven start. Oh, boy. Who would have thought that the Giants would be in the same group as the uh, 49ers this year? What I want to focus about uh, this week is recent comments that were made by players regarding head coach uh, Ben McAdoo, saying that uh, McAdoo has lost uh, the confidence of the players. I don't think that's the surprising part. Uh, when you go 1-7 in football, or any sport, even in baseball, you're you're shown the door sometime later in the season or at the end of the season. To quote one of them, uh, he's dishing out fines like crazy, suspended two of our stars when we need them the most, throws them under the bus all the time. Now some of this is deserving on Mc McAdoo, but I want to focus focus on the suspension because this ties into the reason I'm talking about it. Because the Daily News uh, has run a headline, the New York Daily News, Ben McAdoo is captain of the Giants Titanic but his selfish players are the ill-fated crew. Now tying this back into the suspended stars, Janoris Jenkins suspended for failing to show up to a practice. Why are you not showing up to practice? For football, when you only play once a week, you gotta show up to practice. Then uh, Dominique Rogers Cromarte, uh, forced to miss time after disagreement uh, with McAdoo led him to walking out of a team facility. Disagreements are part of sports. We had this with uh, Joe Girardi and Gary Sanchez for the Yankees, and part of the reason why he may have been shown the door. You should put aside those feelings for the better of the team. Even in the Billy Martin days in the uh, New York Yankees, and there were many of those and many a disagreement between players player, manager, and manager, and owner. Less filling, George. Billy, it tastes great. Less filling, George. Billy? Yeah, George. You're fired. Oh, not again. Still, at the end of the day, put everything aside and said, and basically said, I hate this guy, but we gotta win a game. We gotta win the World Series. And now, I haven't watched the entire Giants season, to, so I can't do a whole critique on the uh, Giants' uh, play, hustle, all that stuff. But to end this, I'll quote uh, one of the later paragraphs of the Daily News article. Was the defense on strike versus the Rams in retaliation for McAdoo suspending uh, Rogers, Cromarty, and Jenkins back-to-back? -back? It's hard to believe that anyone is secure enough to concoct a plan to allow the Rams to score on a 52-yard touchdown on 3rd and 33. The tape doesn't lie, and someday soon, these guys are going to need another job in the NFL. Joe, what do you think, uh... How is this mess going to be sorted out for the Giants? Uh, I know you're a Jets fan, but I'd like to hear your opinions if you, if you may indulge. Until then, see you next time.